what's up I'm back so in this tutorial I will show you how to use the JavaFX scroll pane so JavaFX scroll pane provides a scrollable clip viewport of its content for example if you have a large content in your JavaFX application you can use the scroll pane to see the whole content in your application by using the scroll bars so using the scroll pane you can put any node into a scroll pane using the set content method. So let's get started. So in this example, I will show an image to use the scroll pane. But before that, we will create a scene here. And I'm going to use the border pane layout as our layout. Equals new border pane. And let's import the border pane layout. And we will create a scene object here. Scene equals new scene. And then let's declare the variable root here. And let's make the size of the scene. Let's say 500 equals, I mean 500 by 400. And let's import the scene. All right. So what's next? So let's set the scene at this stage. The stage. Stage that set scene. Scene. Stage that set title as scroll pane tutorial. And so stage that show. Oops. Okay. So let's try to run our scene, our application. All right. So this is it. This is our application and let's close this for a while because we need to <clears throat> um, show the image. So let's create another uh, method here. Let's say private image view image and then return null for now. And then let's import the image view. Um, scene image view, okay. So let's create another object as image equals new image. Let's fix imports. Um, scene image, okay. So we will get the URL of this image so scroll that I mean forward slash can soft PNG and then let's create another image view here let's say view equals image view and then let's Put the image variable here. What's wrong here? Oh, equals new. And then let's remove the null to view. All right. That's how you get the image from the source packages. And then let's create a scroll pane here. Scroll pane. Scroll, let's say scroll. Equals new scroll pane. And then let's import the scroll pane. JavaFX control scroll pane. So scroll that set content image. We need to set the image from, from the scroll pane. So 
Let's call another one. Root that set center. Scroll. I think that's it. So let's try to run our application. Okay. We can see the image here and the scroll bars. This is the vertical scroll bar and the horizontal scroll bar. So that's how you use the scroll pane in JavaFX. So I'm going to show you another example. So using the, we will set the panable to true. So scroll that set panable to true. The use of the panable is if we click and hold our mouse into the content of the scroll pane, we can easily drag we can easily drag the content like like this. Click the mouse and hold and then drag the content. That's how the set panable works in the scroll pane. So we can also set the scroll bar scroll bar policy. So how to do that? Scroll scroll that set H bar policy and then scroll pane that scroll bar policy and then you can use the always as needed needed and never. So the always is you can always see the scroll bars in your scroll pane. And if you use the as needed, you can see the scroll bars if needed. And they never, you can no longer see the scroll bars. So let's use the never as an example. And also the vertical scroll bar. So let's set this to V. And then... I think that's it. Okay, let's run our application. So we can see the scroll bars here, but we can use the panable like this. If we did not use the panable, we can see the whole image. So that's it. That's how you set the scroll pane in JavaFX. I have another example. We can easily use the scroll pane in using the scene builder. So let's remove this for now. And we will go to the scene builder. Scroll. Okay. Okay, let's create another fxml file. Where's the fxml? Empty fxml. So let's name our this name. Let's name this to scroll. Next, we don't need to use the Java controller. Let's hit finish. Okay, so let's open our fxml file. Okay, so we will replace the anchor pane to the border pane. So border pane, let's drag and drop, and a scroll pane to the center. Let's remove this, and image, image view inside the scroll pane so we will resist this to like this and let us set the image I think this one okay so let's set the good border pane 
and then save. So let's make a new changes here. Of course, FXML loader that load. fx scroll.fxml oops I made a mistake here get class that get resource and then fx scroll that fxml draws class IO exception Let's run. Okay, so this is our scroll pane. So you can see the image here using the scene builder, and we can see the horizontal scroll bar here, but we cannot see the vertical scroll bar. It is because we set a fixed size here at the image, that's why we can see the vertical scroll bar. So that's it. I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. I will see you in the next video.